Welcome back. This is Yama Jack, and this is episode 100. Oh my god. I've made it. I can't believe it. I am like so ecstatic right now knowing that we've made it to episode 100. I'm, I've, I've literally got goosebumps. That's how just extremely excited I am about getting to episode 100. I actually have goosebumps. <laughs> it's episode 100. This is 50 days in a row. Two episodes a day. I have missed a couple, um, so they ended up going up a few hours late. But like, pretty much consistently, 8 a.m., 8 p.m., every single day for the last 50 days, or is it 51? I don't know how this stuff works. I think it's 50 days, though, right? For the last 50 days, one episode in the morning, one episode at night, consistently, at the same time, every single day. That is such an enormous accomplishment for me. I mean, most people, you know, they're like, oh, we got 100 subscribers or, or whatever. I mean, we just broke 50 subscribers. Okay, that's that's cool, but I talked about it last episode. I've got a lot of subscribers from, from way back. So realistically, we're at like six subscribers right now of the people who actually are watching and have subscribed since I've started doing this YouTube. I wish I could like get rid of all those subscribers that are subscribed to me. Um, anyway, most people, you know, they have 100 subscribers and they're talking about how that's such an accomplishment. I don't know. To me, the subscriber count isn't an accomplishment. You know, it's something to be happy about and it's something to be proud of. Uh, but like 100 subscribers versus 100 videos, to me the 100 videos is, is so much more impressive just because of my, my personal history and uh, troubles and experiences. Just showing myself that I can do this and get to episode 100 and, and actually committing and, and successing, successing? Succeeding in it is is just such an enormous deal for me i hate how they stumble like that it's an enormous deal to me and i i couldn't be happier i was gonna do something for episode 100 100 i i don't know i still got two days if i want to do something um but i i really don't think that we're gonna be doing anything just because I, I don't I don't know what to do and I think I've said it before but whatever I, I do want to do I just want to get it ready and then whenever it's ready I just want to release it then instead of waiting or releasing it early you know I am working on a RuneScape 3 let's play and a Mega Man Battle Network series let's play so there there are things that uh, that I am working on Definitely, but at the same time, it's, it's you know, I want to release those when they're done, and they are not currently done, so I don't want to release them before they're done, you know? Because they are definitely not done yet. I'm not ready to upload any of them. I want the, the videos to be easy to record, right? For the Mega Man Battle Network series and for the RuneScape series, because I've got this, this Killing Floor 2 thing going. It's a good thing. These videos are exceptionally easy to record. You know? Like, nothing could possibly be easier to record than this. It's 10 minutes an episode. I do 14 episodes a week. That's, you know, you can just do the math. That's, like, just under three hours of recording a week. It's, it's nothing, right? And RuneScape 3 is definitely not going to be like that just because of... I mean, the, the game is different, right? The game's different. I can't just record for half an hour and have good contents. So, I don't know. Anyway, this is episode 100. We've seen extremely good growth over the last week. Going forward, I hope to continue this trend of growth. Uh, I want more subscribers. I want more comments and likes on each video. I want more views. I want all of these things. You know, I want to get to the point where I can apply for YouTube monetization. I want to get to the point where we are making money on this. I've said it before, but it's it's really the, the whole wanting to make money thing is just about wanting to have justification to invest more time into it, right? Because right now I, I can't really afford to spend eight hours a day, every day a week recording and editing videos and all that. I can't, I can't do that. I'm not getting paid for it. I'm not doing it. Um, whereas if I am making money, then I can do that. So. You liking and sharing my videos makes me bigger. And me being bigger means I can invest more time into it and 
produce better content. So please do. It helps a lot. Um, but even if you don't, other people really definitely are right now. And that is fantastic. Episode 100. 100 episodes of Killing Floor 2. And we are at Hell on Earth finally. Doing like pretty okay. I'm not going to say that we're doing great. But we are doing... We're doing pretty okay. Really? It's pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm plenty happy. I, I can't get over that this is episode 100. Honestly, when I started the series, I never thought I'd make it here. You know, I think I talked in one of the earlier episodes about going for... Po like, seeing if I can post a Let's Play to the Killing Force subreddit. Once I hit, like, a thousand episodes or something, like, maybe they'll be... You know, okay, yeah, sure. Like, you've got enough content there to justify promoting yourself. Maybe. Um, potentially. Like, I don't honestly expect that to happen. Uh, but, you know, maybe, right? A big, big maybe. I think I've talked about that in one of the earlier episodes. It's just a, a hypothetical going forward. How do we advertise ourselves? Maybe I can find some way to, to finagle that in. Doing some kind of other content that I could advertise myself with. Similar to what I did with the um, the previewing skins thing. Which was a marketing ploy, by the way, for all y'all out there. I enjoyed making it. No, I didn't. <laughs> I really didn't enjoy making it. I did enjoy the growth that we saw from it. It was a rewarding, ex it was a rewarding experience. I would do it again. Um, but did I enjoy the editing of it? No, not, not at all. I really don't enjoy editing videos. I'll do it because it's good for the channel and I enjoy you know, channel growth, um, those numbers are exciting to me. So, I wouldn't say I had fun making the video, but I definitely uh, am happy that I did it. And I, uh, I feel good about it, right? I will do it again. And I probably will. I'm not sure what. Because the thing with that kind of content is I can't just keep making more prestige. Um, skin previews right like there's a there's a limit to how much I can uh, I can do just because there's there's I've already done it people can already see it they've already seen it they don't want to see it again right um, so I don't know what other content I'd be able to do with it but anyway uh, what was I saying oh yeah it was a marketing ploy ultimately that's why I did it I did it because I thought that I'd get uh, growth out of it and I did I'm, uh, I'm also happy that some people were helped by it. You know, ultimately that's why I made that video over some other marketing ploy, but it was ultimately marketing ploy. And I'm thinking once I get to a thousand, I could maybe do something else similar to that, but more direct, like a giveaway or something maybe. I don't really want to get into giveaways, but like at a thousand episodes maybe, once, I'm not sure. Um, who knows? We'll have to we'll have to see going forward where we're gonna be and what we're gonna be doing. I really don't know. Anyway, I was talking about it in an earlier episode, I believe, about hitting a thousand and uh, like marketing myself like that. Honestly, I didn't think that we'd even make it to a hundred, even at that point when I was talking about getting to a thousand episodes. I really had little confidence that I'd be able to make it past like twenty episodes or something. I thought that this was gonna be a week long thing. And then I would never touch it again. But it has it has been so much more than that to me. And uh, that's why I can't possibly say enough how monumental this this is. Hitting 100 episodes is to me. Just the... It, it's... I don't know. So to you guys, you're like, okay, yeah, sure. There's 100 episodes. Like, big whoop. You played 100 games of Killing Floor 2, you know? Some of you out there with thousands of hours in the game, and you're like, yeah, I've got... I, if I were recording, I could have made, you know, thousands of episodes by now. And, yeah, that's great. It's good for you, but for me... And recording and uploading and making thumbnails and descriptions and scheduling and all this is, is more than just, like, playing Killing Floor 2 anyway. I should have bought more stuff. Why didn't I buy more stuff? I don't know. I'm an idiot. It's fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> um, is is more than just like it's the more it's more than the sum of the parts to me anyway. Um, so, yeah. 
I don't know. I think uh, we need to fill some more content here before the end of this game. And I don't really have anything else to talk about other than the fact that this is episode 100. But also, this is episode 100 and that's so exciting to me. So I don't really mind just talking about it. But also, it's probably like a repetitive thing for me to just continually go on and on about how monumental episode 100 is for me. Because I'm like, yeah, you, you guys get it. Oh no. Ha ha ha! Not a bad flesh pound take down there. Not great, but you know, hey, okay, I've had, uh, I've definitely had worse. Wasn't bad at all. We are running out of ammunition though, so we're gonna have to start picking up some of that. Wherever it is. I thought there was one over there, but I guess not. There should be one behind the bus as well, I think. Should be using my M1911s as well instead of my deagles for everything. Come on. What am I doing with my life? I'm like, it's like I've never even seen this game before. What are we doing? I, I can't believe this is episode 100. 150 days straight of two videos a day. That's such a... I mean, that's so cool. That's so cool. Like how does how do I how do you do that? How do you just do that? You know? It's so cool. I've I've never thought I'd have a hundred episodes of anything on YouTube. I've been wanting to get into YouTube for, for years, like a decade, right? And in all my time of being on YouTube, hundred episodes has always been something that other people do, not me. And right now, in this episode, that changed. And, uh, I don't know, it's like a confidence booster, I guess. It's not really a perspective shift, because it's not really shifting my perspective. I'm still probably going to be doing the same things in the rest of my life. Um, unless I have friends or, or people that are kind of like forcing me to do something, I, I really can't find the time to do it after... I, I lose interest in it, um, which is, is super unfortunate because there are, are just so many things, please, 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 there are just so many things that I wish I could commit to um, that I've never been able to, and that's, that's sad to a certain extent, but it also makes this feeling of accomplishment from 100 episodes so much better so maybe it's not so sad after all who knows anyway we'll probably have another win here this is nuked it's not really a hard map anyway but look at that pretty good performance on hell on earth hey that was like a pretty good run all in all especially for somebody who's talking about hitting 100 episodes and really like i still have goosebumps <laughs> i am i am so excited about this being episode 100 that's incredible. Patriarch is a easy boss. Um, the only issue is he can run away. Where's he coming from? Oh, he's coming through the building. Yeah, he's coming through right there. I'm out. See ya. Don't, I like guns. I like them in my hand shooting at you, though. Not in your hand shooting at me. Okay? There's a there's a, a mild difference there. And uh, that... Where did he run off to? Where did he go? My dude just disappeared. My dude just straight up disappeared. Okay? He just, I, I have, like, okay, literally he did. He did disappear, okay? I, I understand that part of the patriarch mechanics where he, he literally disappears. That part makes sense. The part that doesn't is, I thought I was chasing him, and then he was just not where I thought he was. He was gone. I, I want to, but, like, you're sending these dudes at me. I have to kill them. I can't just leave them. Okay, we're gonna die here. Oh, thank you, Paul.
Thank you, Clutch Pull. Coming in to save the day. Thank you very much. We are really, really hurting though. So this is uh, not such a good Patriarch run. He's very easy if you can manage to take him out in one like burst. Uh, we have not managed to do that. So he is not super easy. See? Please come around this side. Okay, that's cool. I don't want a siren. I don't like sirens. Ah. Oh. It was a pretty good run up until the Patriarch fight, which I don't know. If I didn't lose him right at the start, he just disappeared. I have I still have no idea how he did that. I saw his shimmer and I was shooting at it and then it just was gone. I have no idea where it went. No idea. That was bizarre. If I managed to chase him down at that point and follow him, I probably would have won, but I couldn't follow him. And it's gonna do it, episode 100. Ha. Oh. It's gonna do it for today. Remember to like the video, subscribe, comment. If we can add 100 likes on this video, that would be pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, that's going to do it for today, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.